Hello everyone and welcome back to the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. My name is Zach and I'm so excited to be back with you today. I'm not doing a traditional episode today, but I have one coming very soon. Don't worry. Um, I was challenged by Crystal at Bag O Day to do this 20 questions like thing about me that's been going around. You may have seen it on some of the other podcasters' channels. Um, but I'm going to be answering these 20 questions in hopes that you can learn a little bit more about me. I've had this podcast for almost two years now, um, and there's been a lot of growth recently. So, you know, I did, you know, stop and think about, I probably do have quite a few members who don't know a whole lot about me. Um, I'm sure not everybody goes back to the very first episode and watches. I really hope that you don't. <laughs> Um, I've watched some of my earlier episodes and it is kind of cringeworthy, but I'll probably say the same thing in a year or two whenever I look back on this one. But anyway, um, just a short little video today. Like I said, um, I was challenged by Crystal at Bag O Day and I really just wanted to share this because, you know, this, this is something that's fun um, that I like to, you know, I like to be able to put out there. I like to get to know people, I like for people to know me. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one, and forgive me, I'm reading off this paper because I cannot remember all of these, is what does your name mean? So my full name is Zachary um, and loosely translates to the remembrance of God. Um, it has Hebrew origin, um, so I'm not entirely familiar with that, but um, my family is very religious. My father is a minister, and so my name, of course, would have some type of Christian meaning. Um, so yes, there you have it, remembrance of God. So that is the answer to question number one. Um, number two is where are you from? I currently live, or I, and I have lived, in this town for the past 16 years. It is Magnolia, Arkansas. Um, just like the trees, just like the flower, like steel magnolias. Um, some people think it's just the funniest thing. I don't think it's very, you know, interesting anymore after living here since I was 13 years old. We have a Magnolia Blossom Festival that takes place every summer. It's where the World Championship State Cook-Off takes place. Um, so it is kind of random. Uh, this is a town of roughly 12,000 people, so very small. Um, and Food Network comes here every summer to record the World Championship State Cook-Off, which my husband competes in. So I am from Magnolia, Arkansas. <laughs> um, where were you born? I was born uh, in Oklahoma City, essentially. It was in a town called Shawnee, Oklahoma, um, in Pottawatomie County. Um, I just like saying that. I think it's fun. Um, but yes, I was born and spent the first few years of my life in Oklahoma before I moved to Arkansas when I was in the t uh, sixth grade, I think. I was 12. I believe I was 12. Yeah. Um, so yes, I was born in Oklahoma. What would your parents have named you if you were a girl? Honestly, I am not sure. Um... I think my parents waited to decide on my name until after they figured out the gender, so I don't know. I have a younger sister named Ashley, so maybe if they had a girl, you know, after my older sister, they would have named her Ashley. But like I said, I'm not very familiar, so as far as I knew, my name was always going to be Zach because they didn't decide until they figured out they were having a boy. What is your biggest accomplishment? Um, this one is interesting. I feel like there's a lot of things that I've done that I've been very fortunate to have been able to do. Um, I have a master's degree uh, in mental health and clinical counseling, and I work as a therapist in a psychiatric hospital. I feel like, you know, just obtaining a master's is something that is a big accomplishment for myself. Um, as far as, you know, my education and my career, I feel like I'm really proud of that. Um, personal, I would say in 2012, I got to sing in Carnegie Hall. That was really fun. Um, it was very exciting. I had never been on a plane before. It was my first time to New York City. Um, I was 21 years old. Um, and it was an experience that I will never forget. So I feel like that was a really big moment for me as well. Um, and then 
you know, another important, I guess, I wouldn't really think of my wedding as an accomplishment, but it's a very important moment in my life. Um, although, I guess you could count it as an accomplishment because up until 2014, legally I wasn't even able to get married in the United States. So, I guess that is a pretty big accomplishment, so. What is your eye color? My eye color is hazel. Um, so it's like brown and green. Um, and then it does kind of shade, and the shade kind of changes in and out depending on what I'm wearing. Like typically if I'll wear like a green shirt or something that is, um, you know, close to that shade, my eyes will appear more green. Um, whereas my eyes probably look a little bit darker now that I'm wearing black. Um, what is your favorite candle scent? Currently, I have one that is going right now. It's called Grapefruit Bubbly, I think. I have no idea what the brand is. I bought it at Walmart. Um, I don't know, but it smells like grapefruit champagne, and I love it. <laughs> um, it's in my dining room. So. Um, let's see. Can you cook? Uh, <laughs> I can bake. Um, I always tell people I cannot make like real food. My husband cooks. If, if we eat at home, we eat out a lot, which is not very healthy. I need to slow down on that. But if anything is actually cooked in the home, he is the one that makes it. I can bake almost anything, you know, any type of dessert I can make, but cooking if you ask me to like cook a meal I could not do it I mean not a good one anyway so I'll say no I cannot cook. <laughs> um, what is good about your life right now I feel like I have a lot of good things about my life um, you know I'm very fortunate and I don't say that you know to to brag but I feel like I'm very lucky you know in the in the position that I'm in right now I have a job um, I have a home I have a vehicle um, I have a really good support system around me. I have an amazing husband. Um, I have all of you that I'm able to reach out to on YouTube, which is fantastic. Um, working in a psychiatric hospital has really opened my eyes to a lot of, you know, the privileges um, and different things that I have in my own life because I see, you know, patients that come into the hospital who literally have nothing. Um, and it really puts things into perspective. And so even, you know, the things we take for granted, like I have a bed to sleep on at night. Um, there are, you know, thousands of people in this state probably that, you know, don't either have a bed to sleep on at night. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of good things in my life, definitely more good than bad. And so I can't really complain. And whenever I do feel like I need to complain, I kind of have to stop and check myself. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot good. Um, what is your sign? I am a Leo. Um, I never really got really big into like the astrological, you know, things or, um, you know, reading horoscopes or anything like that. So I know that I'm a Leo and I know it's a lion. Um, but I don't really know what that says about my personality. I know I'm terrible. Um, but it's never been like a big thing for me, but I'm a Leo. <laughs> so take that as you will. <laughs> what scares you about aging? Oh, this is an interesting one. So I joke around a lot. I am still very young. Um, I am turning 30 next year. Um, but I do joke around a lot about aging and how it kind of scares me. But I feel like the thing that scares me the most about aging um, is losing the ability to take care of myself. Um, I really, you know, I am an independent person. I don't want to have to depend on, you know, someone to do all the physical things for me. So, um, you know, not being able to see or hear very well or move around, you know, like I would like to. Um, that does kind of scare me a little bit. Um, but hopefully, you know, I'm able to take care of myself and, you know, that doesn't become a huge factor. Um, and I'm still, you know, pretty, pretty able to manage things that are going on in my life, even as an elder. Um, let's see, what is your favorite holiday? Halloween. Um, definitely Halloween. I love dressing up. I love the costumes. Um, it's 
always been my favorite time of year. I just, I put a lot of time and effort and energy into my costumes, into, you know, whatever it is I'm going for that year. Um, if there's crazy makeup or, you know, an outfit or wigs or prosthetics or, you know, anything. Halloween is always my favorite and it probably always will be. <laughs> um, what is your guilty pleasure? Uh, like I was saying earlier, I try to stay pretty healthy. Um, I'm very fitness oriented. I'm a marathon runner. Um, I have been, you know, very sedentary over the past month. Because if you, if you don't know, I had surgery about a month ago and had my appendix removed. So I have not been able to be very physical um, recently. But one of my guilty pleasures, again, even though I am typically a healthy person, is Taco Bell. <laughs> I probably eat there at least once a week, and it's terrible, I know, but I love it. I can't help it. <laughs> um, favorite show to binge watch. So, I'm all about binge watching a show on Netflix, and if you have not seen Insatiable, you must watch it. Um, Schitt's Creek, you must watch it. <laughs> Um, what else? There, there's a few shows that I just, you know, started and went all the way through. Um, The Vampire Diaries, um, Dexter, I did that with Dexter, I did that with Nip Tuck. Um, I tried to do that with Grey's Anatomy, but I got really irritated whenever all of my favorite characters kept dying, so I stopped watching it. Um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite shows to binge watch. I love it. Um, can't leave the house without what? Um, it depends on what I'm leaving the house for. Um, typically, if I'm just, you know, leaving the house, like going to work or going to the store, or, you know, driving in my car, I always have to have my chapstick. I even have it right here. I use the EOS kind. It's usually like a little egg, but they have these tubes too. So I actually have both of them, but I use the mint kind. Um, and if I'm traveling, I never leave without a project to work on because I, another thing I'm privileged for is whenever we travel long distances, I never have to drive. And so Bradley will drive, you know, the trip and then I will crochet in the car um, while we're moving. So I never leave without a project. Um, let's see, am I a morning person or a night owl? Definitely a night owl. Um, I typically don't even go to bed until around 2 a.m. Um, and fun fact for all of my podcast viewers is that probably 90% of my podcast videos that I've posted on this channel were recorded between 12 a.m. and 2 a.m. <laughs> um, because that's whenever I have time to film. Um, I do work in a town an hour away, so the commute takes a little bit out of my day. Then by the time the dinner and, you know, socializing and everything takes place. Um, that time of night is whenever it's quiet uh, and I'm able to, you know, work on crochet or, you know, do paperwork or, you know, film for my YouTube channel. So definitely a night I'll have the hardest time getting out of bed in the morning, even though I set my first alarm for 5.30 <laughs> because I have to leave my house by 6.30 so that I can get to work by eight o'clock. Um, so yeah, it's difficult, but definitely a night owl. I always have been, my entire family's like that. Um, I don't know what it is. I just don't get tired early. Favorite genre of movie? Uh, I would say probably suspense. I don't like scary, um, and I feel like there's a difference. I don't like gory scary, I guess. I get really queasy when it comes to like blood and I don't know, like killing people. Horror movies is not my thing. Like suspenseful, I like to feel like on edge. Like I feel like that's fun. Um, I just, I like drama, I guess. Like dra dramatic, like TV shows and movies and things like that. Um, last thing you bought. Oh, that was a lot. And I can't even talk about some of it. Um, I went Christmas shopping today and birthday shopping. Um, my husband's birthday is in two days. And then Christmas, of course, is like two weeks later. Um, so I was off work today and I did some holiday shopping. Uh, let's say one thing that I can say, I bought... I bought a shirt today for me to wear to my company Christmas party tomorrow, so that's fun. Um, 
bought a gift for one of my nieces for Christmas. Um, yeah, that's all I can share about that. Because my husband says he doesn't watch this podcast, but I don't know if he does. So I'm not going to test it and I'm not going to say anything that I bought because this would be the time where he was like, oh, I saw your video. Um, and then I'd be pissed. <laughs> so <laughs> not going to talk about what I bought him. Uh, am I an introvert or an extrovert? I'm definitely an extrovert. Um, now, granted, I do have those times, you know, from time to time, I feel like we all need to, you know, kind of be alone and recharge. And um, I think that's a good thing. I think that's normal. I don't always 100% of the time like to be around people, but I would say definitely most of the time, I'm a very social person. I love to interact with other people. I love to go out. I love to, you know, engage in social gatherings. I like to go to events. Um, that's, that's some of my favorite things to do. I love to interact with other individuals. Um, I love getting to know other people. I love getting to hear people's stories. Um, it's just always been very interesting to me. So definitely an extrovert. And then favorite book, anything by James Patterson. Again, I really like that drama, like suspenseful, um, type of, you know, novel, entertainment aspect, movie, you know, TV show. Um, but James Patterson's probably one of my favorite authors and I've read almost all of his books. Um, I've been a big fan since I was a teenager. Um, and then I, I discovered probably five or six years ago that um, you can get a lot of books in Goodwill for like 25 cents. So I went in there one time and I bought every single James Patterson book that they had. And I think there was like 10 or 11 of them. And I got them for literally like less than $3 for all of them together. And I read all of them. Um, so yes, James Patterson. And that was the last one. So thank you if you watched this video all the way to the end for learning a little bit more about me. Uh, I'm not going to pick anybody specifically to challenge because I feel like I was a little behind on posting this. Um, I feel like everyone who was going to do it was probably going to, has already done it. Um, but I'll do an open invitation. If you see this and you want to participate, I'm going to post all of the questions in the description box so that you can see that. And, uh, I'm going to be filming my next podcast very shortly and I'm hoping to get that up this weekend. So thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye.